Good day, lovely people of OK Academy. You are welcome to our third term e-learning program. I'm Victoria Asamoah, your facilitator for KG2. Our subject is numeracy, and our topic for today is composition of numbers. Composition of numbers under addition. We've already treated addition as addition as in put together. When we talk about addition, it's calculating two numbers and finding the sum of that two numbers. So today, composition of numbers means we'll give you the sum of that number and you are to compose. Compose means finding the two numbers when added together, you get that number being given. That is simple. Example is I have 12 here, which is being given to me as the number which I'm, I'm supposed to decompose. In this time, I, I don't think anybody can perform magic to know two numbers. When added, we can get this. So we do this to find it. The number is being given 12. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, I have this 12. Now, this is my 12. Anybody can choose to divide it anyhow he or she wants it. I like it this way. I'll just circle one out of it. After I'm done, I'll count the one in the circle, the one that I've circled. So let's count the one that I have circled. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'll write my five here. Then the rest not being circled. Let's count that one too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll get my seven. So with this, we got to know that five plus seven will give us what? Twelve. Another way, this same twelve, I can also choose to divide it anyhow I want. So this same 12, we have 12 here. I also count my circles again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This time around, this is how I'm counting. And look at how I'm dividing it. I'll just divide it like this. Or circle one out of it. This is how... I think is good for me. So let's count this one too. The one being circled. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you write your six. The one not being circled, let's count that one too. One, two, three, four, five, six. I also get six. It also means that when I have six, then I add six to it, I will get 12. That same 12, when I divide that same 12 into two, being different numbers, I got 5 plus 7, same 12. 6 plus 6, same 12. I hope you also in the house will also do it in a different way. You separate it in a different way and you may get different, different numbers. Which simply means that we have decomposed this number, separating it into two. Yes. We are using our counters. Another example, using counters to decompose. That's 15 being given to decompose. There's my counters. As you are in the house watching me, I'll just go. I'll count my 15. I've already told you that when you are counting, you separate the number from the one you are counting. So one, I'm counting. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm done with my fifteen. When you are done with your fifteen, we are about to decompose. So fifteen is being given. I can choose to take some. In my hands, just put it somewhere. 
after I'm done, I'll count the one left. Let's count the one left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is left. So I'll write my ten for the first step. Now, the one that I took, let me count that one too. One, two, three, four, five. I got my five. Now, also write my five there. So you can see on my sheet, that 15 is being decomposed. So you see my 10 and five. It's another step. The same 15 can also be decomposed in this way. I have my 15 already here, which has been counted. So I can decide to just separate it any way I like it. So let's count the first one being separated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you count the first step, for you not to forget, you write it the eight. Then the next one, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got my seven, so I'll also write it here. This means that that number 15 can be decomposed as in 10 and 5 will give me 15. Again, when I have 8 and 7, it will also give me 15. I hope you are in the house enjoying it, and you surely do an example of that. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you same time next week. Bye-bye.